Hi everyone, it's um, Alosa here from Noah's Art Centre um, and this little clip is about establishing safety um, and we're gonna, I'm thinking our, our advice is around bags, boxes and boundaries. So um, here at Noah's Ark we tend to uh, use bags and boxes quite a bit. We do it with our rainbows groups, in our groups of children, we do it in our one-to-one -one work. Um, with therapeutic play with the children and it's a really good way of establishing kind of control and safety the children feel safe having their things in their bag or in their box um, and they feel in control because that you know they, they know what the rules are we'll often do the rules um, of play you might have in this time the rules of the classroom or the rules of the group the rules of the bubble that the children are in um, and they get to, to write those or draw those down. Keep it nice and simple. Something maybe like in an acronym might be good. Um, they could either put it on their bag maybe or put it inside the bag or box. Um, and that really does, those rules and boundaries really do help keep children safe. And they help keep the adults safe as well. Um, and everybody knows what they're doing. It's a, it, it reduces a lot of anxiety if you, if you know what you're doing as an adult and as a child. So um, having those rules of the setting is, is really important. Um, now, the bag is also, kids like to have things that are theirs, don't they? You know, this is my bag and, and I get to decorate it and um, I get to put on here however I would like it. I'm going to paint it or I'm going to draw color on it. I'm going to stick things on it. I'm going to put my name on it however I like to put my name on it. So a lot of control around the bag and how what's done with it. It's not an activity that's kind of like you're going to do a certain thing on this bag exactly. You know, this is very much down to them. How how would they like to, to have their de bag decorated? Um, and then you might have, well, what's going to go inside the bag? And it might be things that they've done um in the class might be creative things they've done may get kept in the bag that's something that we do here um so that all those feelings that difficult things that may have been processed they get kept nicely in the bag and then towards the end of the work we do with children we might reflect or even midway they might want to look and see the things that they've been doing and, and reflect back on on some of their bits of work that they've done um, but in this time, in this setting of physical safety, as well as feeling that emotional containment of having your own bag, um, you may want to have the children choose a certain number of toys that um, that they can have that are just theirs, um, and they might be theirs for a fixed period of time. That's up for up to you to decide as um, as a as a school as teachers but it might well be that um they get to have things in their bag and those things are theirs and those can be brought out to do different types of activities but they're kept as theirs so i've got here i'm poking up i've picked up a puppet if you've got a selection of puppets maybe having and that could be an activity in a small group if uh, at some point you know what else have i got in here I've got a musical instrument that I've chosen. Now, these are chosen in the playroom here at Noah's Ark. So I've chosen this from our musical box, this little shaker. What else have I got that I've chosen? Children love to choose, don't they? So I've chosen this banana from our fruit, well, our food box. And I have chosen this little character. I think she's from Alvin and the Chipmunks. I'm not sure what her name is, but... There you go, I've chosen her. Um, chosen a dinosaur. Some seaweedy grass. So that's the natural aspect. I've chosen this guy here. Fireman. Um, yeah, so you may have all sorts of different characters. I've got a little, a little bird that I've chosen in the bag and I've got a tiger that I've chosen in the bag. So it could be, I mean, these could be used in a whole host of different ways, I guess. One way I'm thinking, um, you might have um, you might have a child that's, that finds it hard to communicate what they want or their feelings around things. And sometimes they find it a lot easier 
if you ask something that they're attached to, so um, it might be that they become particularly attached to one of these toys, it might be that they're allowed to bring a toy in from home that they keep in the bag. Possibly. I don't know. That would be up to you as well. Um, as long as, you know, this is my bag, that other bag is somebody else's, <laughs> and, uh, and we get to, to, to touch, we might get to communicate and say, so how's, how's Tiger feeling today? Or what do you think Tiger would like to do today? What What's going on? You know, that's their attachment. They'll find it oh, maybe easier to say their feelings and needs through the medium of a toy or um, something else, maybe even a rhythm, you know, a song. How, you know, you, you, I, I'm sure I don't want to teach people to suck eggs either. This is like, you know, this is what you do all the time working with your children, but it's just a little thought that this might be helpful. Um, bags and boxes are very, containing they make the children feel safe um okay and the other thing i've put in this bag is a pot of play-doh um obviously i don't think the children will probably be allowed to do a lot of play-doh on their own but they might want their own play-doh and this i mean this is this is magical stuff is what i i find even for um <laughs> for older children it's 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 got all sorts you can build characters could build your own character from your own toy from your own play-doh um, you could use your play-doh as a bit of stress relief giving it a squeeze giving it a punch you can make your own little food elements of you know whatever you need to add maybe potentially to tell a story with your characters you could also make with your play-doh and um, so there's i think there's a whole host of potential there for what you could do and um, with a bag and now it's 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 something even for those children who are at home, a bag or a box of activities or toys or things that are um, that your child attaches to that, that helps them to regulate um, their emotions, that, that, that helps them to communicate their feelings um, or just makes them feel good. Um, that can be helpful too, because at times you might just decide, oh, it's time to get why don't we go and get your bag? You know, do you, do you want to do something on the bag? Do you want to get something out of the bag? It's theirs and they have a lot of choice and control um, uh, with their bag. Okay, so I hope I've given you a few little ideas. I've kept saying bag, but you might, you might want to be doing a box <laughs> as well. Um, all right. Okay, take care, everybody. Stay safe.